Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to properly complete lesson four of Word Domain 2. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, I want to bring your attention over to Teams. Inside of Teams, you will find your assignment complete with all of the steps that you need to follow in order to successfully complete this assignment. All right, make sure you watch those videos. I can't stress that enough. The videos will help you complete the workbook assignment. All right, so the first thing that we need to do when we're getting ready to work in the workbook after you have completed watching the video and doing the exercise labs is you need to go to the files tab at the top in order to get the files that you need. The files that we need for this particular lesson is 231, 232, and 233. So I'm going to go to files and lesson four and here are the files right here. So I'm going to click on the ellipsis, the three dots on the right and choose download. And I'm going to repeat that process for each of the files. Just as a reminder, anytime I do this, I'm actually downloading the files into my download folder on my computer. So now let's go into LearnKey. So for LearnKey, I am in my domain two and I need to click on lesson four and here's the workbook. And we are completing pages 16 through 18 and make sure you're paying attention to the page numbers at the bottom of the page. So let's go to page 16. I'm going to minimize my side panel and I am going to increase the view and let me minimize teams. So now I'm ready. I need to open doc file 231 brochure. So I'm going to open up my word. I'm going to click open. I'm going to go to my downloads folder and I'm going to go to 231 brochure. All right. What I need to do is I need to scroll down to the Olympic swimming pool section. So I am going to scroll down and I'm scrolling with my mouse. However, you can also scroll using the scroll bar. So here is the Olympic swimming pool section and next I need to place the benefits of swimming and competitive swimming sections in two columns. Keep the sections in the same area they are currently in. So I'm going to go to my Word document. I am going to select benefits of swimming and competitive swimming. Go to layout, click on the drop down arrow below columns and click on two. So now it's created two columns for me. Number three, use the more columns option in the columns gallery to add a line in the middle of both sets of columns. So click the drop down arrow below columns Go down to more columns and put a check mark where it says line between and it even gives you a little preview right here. So now you have two columns with a line between. And we save. So let's go to file, save as and go to that spot where you always save your work. Okay. And we're done with this one. So let's go down to page 17. Insert page section and 
column breaks. So I need to open up 232 brochure, go to file, open, I'm going to my downloads area, and we are opening up 232 brochure. And let me just move it over here. I need to scroll down to the spotlight article. So I'm scrolling. And here's the spotlight article right here. I need to add a page break before the spotlight heading. So I'm going to place my incursion my insertion point just before the word spotlight. Let me just zoom in just a little so that you can see. I'm going to go to layout and I'm going to click on the drop down arrow next to breaks and I'm going to choose page break and you'll notice it says page break right here and spotlight article has moved over to the following page. Number three, add a column break above the competitive swimming heading. So let's go here. So I'm going to place my insertion point just before the word competitive. I'm going to go to breaks and this time I'm going to choose column and you'll notice that it moved competitive swimming over to the second column. Next. Number four, I am going to add a continuous section break before the spotlight heading. So let's go back down to spotlight. And for this one, make sure if you want to know if you did it properly, make sure you have your paragraph marks turned on, just like I have it here now. And just as a review, in order to turn your paragraph marks on, you click on your show hide button. So make sure it's on so that you can actually see what you're about to do. So I have my insertion point just before the word spotlight. I'm going to go to layout, click on the drop down arrow. And for this one, I'm going to choose continuous. And you'll notice that it says continuous here. Okay. Next, number five, after the spotlight article, add a section break that starts the next page. So this is not a page break, it's a section break. So I am going to take my cursor, put it at the end of the spotlight article, and then I am going to choose the drop down arrow and I'm not choosing page break. I am choosing, I'm in the section breaks, location and I am going to choose next page. All right. And you'll see section break next page. So next we save. Okay. File, save as, go make sure you go to where you always save your work. Follow the same format that you've been using all along for all of your assignments. Your last name, your first name, your ID number, followed by the name of the assignment. All right, wonderful. So now let's go to our final page for lesson four change page setup options for a section. So this time I am going to open up the 233 brochure file. Go to my downloads and here it is 233 brochure. Let me just move it over to the side. And I need to scroll down to the spotlight article page. So let's scroll down. 
here is the spotlight article page right here. Okay. I am going to apply a 0 0.70 inch margin just to the spotlight article page. So I'm going to make sure my insertion point is located in this page and I'm going to go to layout and I'm going to click on the dialog box launcher for page setup and for you, my left and right margins I am going to type 0 0.70 I'm going to make sure that I am applying it to this section. Make sure it says this section and then click OK. And we're done. So all I have to do is save. So let's go ahead and get my file name, file, save as. My final save for lesson four. And hit save. And just like that, we are done. So guys, just as a quick recap, so that you see, we finished domain two, insert and format text, paragraphs, and sections. We completed lesson one, introduction. Lesson two, insert text and paragraphs. Lesson three, format text and paragraphs. And lesson four, create and configure sections. So next week, we are going into domain three, manage tables and lists. I hope you found these videos very helpful. Um, you may look at them again, review um, in case if you missed something or you didn't understand how to do something. And I'll see you guys next week.